tawakallo assalamu alaikum barkan mu da sake sadawa wani sabon shirin na daga fadar shugaban kasa da ke zuwa muku daga kafar yanci ta Liberty Television da ake kallo wato akwatin nan dukoda daban-daban Hassan Umar Faruk Sunana ni ya zan jagoranci wannan shiri da ofishin mai baiwar shugaban kasa shawara kan harkokin watsa labaru malam garbashe uke daukar nawin ka muku a cikin shirin a yau an tattauna wato a majalisar zartarwa ta tarayya haka wannan makon da ya gabata shugaban kasa Muhammad Bahari ya gana da gwamnoni na jam'iyyar APC da kuma sanatoci na jam'iyyar APC musamman da aka kada gangar siyasa wato zaben shekara ta 2019 har ma da wani zargi da jam'iyyar PDP tai na cewa shugaban kasan ya dauki hutu ne na kwana 10 zuwa Birnin London domin a shirya wata makarkashiya domin murkushe wadanda suka tayar kayar baya a majalisa kwaji wadannan abuwa da kuma sauran abubuwan da shirin ya kusa so ku biyo mu domin jin shirin domin jin ko kuma kallon yadda shirin zai kaya Liberty TV voice for all vision for all a station with a vision to build all nations so interesting educating so keep on watching a voice for all a vision for all keep on watching Liberty TV to malala a ranar laraba kawace larabar da wato kowace laraba nan fada shugaban kasa akan gudanar tarajin majalisar jattarwa a wannan satin ma an gudanar da taron majalisar ministoci suka zauna aka tattauna kan wasu muhimman lamura da kuma wadansu wato alamura da aka amince a wannan taro bari mu baku da wannan rohoton domin jin yadda alamuran suka tafi a wannan laraba da yake bayani jukkadan bayan Kamal taron ministan wutar lantarki ayyuka da gidaje babatun da Raji Fashola ya bayyana cewa a yau majalisar ta amince da naira miliyan 348 da miliyan 594 na naira domin aikin fada da hanyar nan da tashi daga garin Akwanga zuwa Jos wanda za ta bi ta Bauchi zuwa Gombe mai tsawon kilomita 420 wanda za a maida zuwa tagwayen hanyoyi a tabagin Fashola ya ce wannan hanya za a kammala shi ne a cikin watanni 48 wato shekaru hudu kenan what you have today is the Gombe to Akwanga which is from the north east to Bauchi Jos down to the north central It amma take bayani jinkadan bayan Kamal Taran minister kudi kemiya da Oshun ta bayyana cewa majalisar ta amince da sama da naira miliyan 8.8 domin su yi wani inji mai gani har an ji domin tantance sun dokan da suke shigowa kasar nan ta gaboben ruwa da ake walakami da M60 a tabakin minister ta ce wannan kungila ta hada da gyaran wannan na'ura na watanni 36 da kuma hada na'urar haka da horar da jami'an custom 120 wanda za su ci gaba da kula da wannan na'ura da kuma hada wannan na'ura da wata manhaja ta hukumar ta fasakauri ta custom da ake wala kabida na 62 haka minister ta bayyana cewa a yau majalisar ta amince da amsa wani bashi na bankin duniya da yake na dala miliyan 150 domin ya kida cutar shirin inna a fadin kasar nan a tabakin ministan ta ce wannan bashi dan hanshe shi zai tallafawa ci gaban da gwamnati ta samu akan yaki da cutar ta shin inna wanda ake son a yake ta gaba daya da kasar nan and it was for the procurement of three units of rapid scan mobile cargo scanners these are container scanners that are being procured for customs the total cost is 8 billion 47 million 425000 naira Mirsa ta ce idan an shi wannan bashi hukumar da ke kula da lafiya a matakin farko ta tarayya ita ce za ta gudanar da wannan aiki a jihohi 12 da ake ganin suna da koma baya a yaki da ake da cutar shan inna wadannan jihohi sun hada da Adamawa Belsa Gombe Jigawa Katsina Kogi Nasarawa Naija Plateau Taraba da kuma Zamfara shi ma da yake bayani jimkadan bayan Kamala Taran mai bayo shugaban kasa shawara kan harkokin watsa labaru Femi Adeshina ya bane cewa majalisar ta amince da sama da naira miliyan 12.12 domin magance matsalolin mahalli a fadin kasar nan adishida ya bane cewa wadannan kudade za su ba da dama ayyuka 12 a jihohi 12 a fadin kasar nan a tabakin shi yace jihohin sun hada da Anambra Lagos Oyo Akwai Bom Adama Bauchi Borno Jigawa Kaduna Plateau da kuma babban nan tarayya Abuja Erosion and flood control projects all approved at 12 billion 104 million 882 thousand 
Naira. Karaman minister ma'aikatar albarkatun man Peter Ibaka Chuku ya bane cewa mutasar ta amince da naira miliyan 1017 domin kafa wata na ura da za ta sa ido kan yadda ake tantance irin kuraɗin da ake biya na tallafin man Peter. A tabakin shi yace wannan na ura mai sarrafukanta za kafa ta ne domin tantance kuɗaɗin da ake samu sato kasa katsi game da tallafin da gwamnati take biya a kullun. And the narrative to this is like you know We've all struggled with this whole uh, subsidy payments, how much is consumed in Nigeria, what volume of products are moving out illegally, and all that. Atawa Kinshi, yeti, bugu da kari majalisa da amin cheda, saki, bada kwangilar, nanta, hedi kwa tari MCMB, garinyana gowa diki jahar ba alsa. Ibe katuku yeti, ambada kwangilar na ita shikara tadubu bida goma shabiyar, akam kut inyana ambilen dubu ashunda bokwe, ama azawanda suke ayaw, Amin cida yanzu kungiyar za ta koma naira miliyan 42 daga bada shugaban kasa dake Abuja to haka alarabar kan abin da ya shafi siyasa ministan watsa labaru na kasa wato Lai Muhammad yayi karin bayani kan yadda alamura suke tafiya a nan fada shugaban kasa bayan fitowar shi Bukula Sarakin da kuma yadda siyasa take tafiya a can jihar Kwarar ga wannan rahoton Minister Yad Ella Barulai Muhammad ya bayyana cewa tun daga ranar da Bukola Saraki ya dare kan wannan kujera ta shugaban majalisar dattawa ya kasance dan adawa ne ba dan jami'ar APC mai mulki ba a tabakin Lai Muhammad yace idan aka yi duba ga yadda aka dinga samun jinkiri a kasafin kudaden shekarun da suka gabata da kuma jinkirin da ake samun wajen tabbatar da sunayen wadanda aka ba mukamai hakan ya kawo na kasu matuka ga cigaba a kasar nan yace fitowar sarakin daga jami'ar APC alheri ne ga jami'ar perhaps the only surprise is that when he eventually defected it was more like a mere whimper bugur kari lai muhammad da yake magana game da tasirin fitowar bukola saraki a jami'ar ta APC a siyasar kasa yace idan da tuntuni shi shugaban majalisar dattawan bukola saraki bai kasance dan jami'ar APC ba dora jami'ar ba ta samu na kasu da ci bayan da ta samu ba musamman idan aka yi duba ga jinkirin da aka samu a ganar kasafin kudi da kuma amincewa da mutanen da aka bayar mukamai if you are not a member of the APC i don't think the party and the government could have suffered more than they have already with regards to the delay in passing the budget year after year game da siyasar jihar kwaro kuwa lai muhammad ya bayyana cewa jami'ar ta APC za ta kara karfi ne kawai a jihar kwara yace duba da yadda abubuwa da suke faruwa sun fahimci ayyan jami'ar ta APC na gaskiya a jihar kwara wanda kuma a yanzu za su yi kokarin hada karfi da karfi domin bunkasa jami'ar da kuma bude kofa domin amsar sababbin ayyan jami'ar domin mata karan bawul gabanin zaben shekara ta 2019 wanda suke da aniyar kawo kuru'u da shugaban kasa Muhammadu Buhari zai lashe zabe a jihar a zaben shekara ta 2019 the entire party structure from ward local government to state level i'm put in place a caretaker committee so the genuine apc members can take possession of the party kafar shugaban kasa dake Abuja to haka a nan labar wato shugaban kasa Muhammadu Buhari ya gana da sanatoci na jami'ar APC wanda kamar da kuka sani akwai dirgadirga siyasa musamman bayan ficewar wato shugaban majalisar dattawa na tarayya Bukola Saraki daga jami'ar ta APC wato ya koma jami'ar PDP musamman yanzu da jami'ar ake ganin take da rinjaye wato waɗannan sanatoci da suka rage na jami'ar sun zo sun gana da shugaban kasa Muhammadu Buhari a nan fadar shugaban kasa inda suka yi tattauna wa siri kuma bayan fitowar su sun yi waɗansu wato bayanai wato a bai wuce goyen baya da suka nuna mu jami'ar ba da kuma ci gaba da tabbatar da su wato ci gaba da zama a wannan jami'a haka a cikin dare shugaban kasa Muhammadu Buhari ya tattauna da gwamnonin jami'ar APC da suka kawo masa ziyara wanda aka yi wannan tattaunawar a bangaren wato uwar gidan shugaban kasa a cikin wannan dare mun tattauna da wadansu gwamnonin jimkadan bayan fito wadda wato wannan a taro akwai gwamnatin jihar Kano Abdullahi Ganduje 
da kuma gwamnatin jihar KB wato Atiku Bagudu a uh, sun yi mana karin bayani inda har gandujan ya sheda mana ya magana game da ficewar mataimakin gwamnatin jihar kanan Hafiz Abubakar ga abin da suke cewa mu 22 kenan wato mu zo ne domin mu tabbatar mashi duk da irin abubuwan wadanda suke faruwa yanzu a tsaka APC na wadansu suna fita daga wannan jam'iya musamman ma wato gwamnati guda uku da kuma shugaban majalisar da TJ mun zo mu tabbatar masa mu gwamnatin nan 22 muna nan a bayan sa muna nan kuma a kan kujerun mu ko mu tabbatar masa ba za a sake samu wani gwamna wanda zai koma wata jam'iya ba kuma muna tabbatar masa cewa mun san dalilan da yasa wadanda suka ba wannan jam'iya suka tafi wasu jam'iyu dalilai ne guda uku na farko abinda su suka nema yawancin su dama ana binciken su saboda almundahana da suka yi a lokacin da suke office suna neman shugaban kasa domin ya janye wannan bincike da ake kujerun su abban masu ci gaba da wato irin wannan kujeru shi ma shugaba na jam'iyyar mu na kasa gabaki dai ce wannan ba zai yi ba wadansu kuma suna so a gaya musu idan an sake kafa gwamnati wadanne irin mukamai za a ba su kuma su kansu wani irin mukami za su rike shi ma wannan aka ce Allah ne ya san gobe saboda haka babu wanda zai ce ga abin da zai faru gobe ko da an ci zaben wannan mu za iya yin sa yanzu ba to saboda haka ga dalilan da aka shimfida kenan dalilan kuma da suka yi dada su kenan saboda haka mu muna tabbatar wa shugaban kasa cewa yanzu muna hade mun kara karfi kuma mun lura cewa mutanen nan da suka fita akwai yawanci na jama'a su su bi su ba suna nan kullun suna dawowa suna ga mana su ba za su fi wannan mutane ba kuma akwai ma dan jam'iyyar PDP wadanda suke su ma muna tattauna da su za su dawo wannan jam'iya ta APC har ma da gwamnati daga cikin su kai ma a kallo mutumin ta ya bar jam'iyyar APC ya shiga PDP ya kake ji eh to ai wato Allah da ka taki gona dama can akidar sa wato shi akidar sa ta jam'iyya ce saboda mutum ba wai jam'iyya saboda ai al'umma aiki ba jam'iyya ce wacce take shi wato yaran Dr. Rabi Musa Konkusu ne an Konkusiya muna cike da farin ciki ga irin ci gaban da ake samu na daya ana taimakawa jama'a marasa karfi talakawa sun samu abuyi sun samu arziki manoma suna ƙara samu arziki ga noman da suke yi an dauki yara kusa da miliyan 1 aiki wadanda da ba su da aiki kuma yanzu an ce ma za a ba da dama su a ba su aikin dindindin wato yan power program ana ci da yara makaranta ana ya ƙara shawa da cin hanci ana gina hanyoyi jirkin kasa da aka dade ba a gani ba wurare da yawa yana dawowa ana gyaran abubuwa na wadanda za su sa Najeriya ta ci gaba da kuma da ƙara daukaka daraja duk wadannan abubuwa ne wadanda su ne wanda yake son Najeriya su ci gaba suke fadi suke nema kuma mu gwamnatin na 22 da karkashin jagorancin chairman din mu da muka zo nan mun aminta da irin jagorancin da muka so kenan kuma muna 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 farin ciki kuma shirye muke mu jagoranci tallan shugaban kasa Muhammad Buhari domin nasarar zabe alif dubiyu da goma sha tara akwai gwamnati da aka ce na PDP ne su ma suna tunani shiga wani da ya gaskiya akwai mutane da yawa wadanda ko wancan zabe da aka yi wadanda ba yan janye ya yi ba da suka zabe shugaba Muhammad Buhari saboda yadda da abuwan da yake haka zalika akwai yan majalisu da yawa wadanda ba na jami'a APC ba dai kamar da kace kuma da gwamnati da ke shawar tafiya shugaban kasa Muhammad Buhari ko muna kyauta da zaton za su zo mu yi tafiya tare to a game da turga turgar da ke ci gaba da wato tafiya kan abin da ya shafi wato ficewar shi bukola saraki daga wannan jam'iya ta APC zuwa PDP da kuma hutun da shugaban kasa Muhammadu Bari ya dauka na kwanaki goma na aiki da bai zuwa birnin London ya huta mun tattauna da mai bayar shugaban kasa shawara kan harkokin watsa labaru Malam Garba Shehu 
musamman kan wani zargi da jam'iyyar PDP ta yi na cewa to akwai fa lauje cikin nadi da shi shugaban kasa Muhammadu Buharin zai ce hutu a birnin London ya bai ya jar wato ya bai rabar ragaman kasar nan ga mutumin sa Yumi Osei Banjo wanda zai gudanar da kasar nan inda ake kokarin yi musu makarkashiya musamman na canza akalar shugabanci a jam'iyyar ta wato a majalisar da tawa musamman yanzu da jam'iyyar APC take da jagoranci jam'iyyar PDP ba ta jagoranci ga abinda ya sheda mana to um babu gaskiya a cikin wannan lamari saboda wannan hutu an jima da shirin saka shi a kalanda ta shugaban kasa cewa zai dauki wannan kwana goma yaje huta ya dawo dan ya shirya tunda abubuwan da suke gaban sa musamman sha'ani na campaign da za a shiga yanzu ya dawo cikin shiri shi wannan batu a ce wai ana so a rashin gaskiya ko wani abu sai shugaban kasa Buhari ya matsa daga wurin ai mu alhamdulillah ashe ita PDP ma ta gane cewa abinda ake cewa wai mai gaskiya nan mai gaskiya ne ashe su ma sun yi da cewa shi shugaban Buhari mai gaskiya ne to alhamdulillah amma in banda haka waye dau ragamar ya baiwa ragamar nan da aka dauka aka ba rike mutumin sa professor Yimi Osibanjo Yimi Osibanjo lawya ne wanda day da matsayi fiye daidai da duk wani lawya da yafi kowanne a kasar nan babban jami'i ne a cocin su kuma kowa ya san a kasa da Najeriya da duniya gaba daya an san shi shi mutum ne mai gogor mayar kare hakkin bil adam tun kafin ya shiga wannan office ashe ba su buhari ko su ba jaza a ce har za su kulla wani abu na rashin gaskiya ko da zai ke ta tsarin mulki ba ita maganar siyasar kujerar majalisar da TJ ta da Bukola sanata Bukola Saraki ke kai magana ce ta cewa jam'iya da take da rinjaye za ta ajiye ko ta nada shugaban majalisa PDP da ya shiga ba ta da rinjaye a majalisa saboda haka shi yasa jam'iyar mu take kira gare shi ya sauka cikin mutunci tun kafin a yi fito na fito ya bar wa APC kujerar ta kujerar ta karbu ta nada sabon shugaban majalisar da TJ idan yace ba zai yi haka ba a'a su APC tana da dukkan iko da dama da za ta dauki wani mataki a cikin doka ba tare da kariya doka ba don a tsige shi kuma a kawo wanda ya cancanta a dora akan wannan kujerar da masu kallo ko saurare zasu ce a siyasan ce yadda aka saba gani abuwa na faru a kasar nan a ita jam'iyyar PDP APC da kuma fadar shugaban kasa za su nada hannu a shi saraki ya ci gaba da kasancewa akan wannan kujera ba tare da daukar wannan mataki ga kuma an ce hutu sai cikin wata satun ba za su koma eh to doka ta su ta majalisa mambobi kashi daya cikin uku za su iya saka hannu a takarda su nemi a kawo majalisa ya kirawo taro so APC da take da member a majalisar da TJ 52 a yau kuma muna fatan wasu ma za su karu akai kaga tana da kusan rabi kenan a cikin mutun 106 a majalisa she za ta iya kira yan APC za su iya sa hannu su cimma wannan bukata ta doka na kashi 1 bisa 3 su ce majalisa ta zauna randa duk majalisa ta zauna kuwa za ta yi umar dun da ba wai a a cewa aka yi sai idan kashi 2 bisa 3 su za su iya tsige shugaban majalisa ba mu da kashi 2 bisa 3 ko da can da aka tasu ba mu da kashi 2 bisa 3 amma akwai sashe na tsarin su dai nuna cewa za a iya dakatar da wanda ke shugabancin majalisa an yi haka even events yan waren an yi haka a margayi chuba okadibo wato yan majalisa masu rinjaye kashi 51 bisa 100 su ce matsa da kuma jira ai bincike kuma a kawo sabon shugaban majalisa a nada saboda haka ina ganin shi wannan bawan Allah da ya tsallake APC ya koma PDP ya daina yau darar kansa ya ajiye wannan kujera ba tasa bace ba tasu bace ya bari a bi ka'ida a bi doka a kawo shugaba halattace ana tunana ta magana bin doka musamman fada shugaban kasa cewa shugaban kasa Muhammadu Buhari ba zai tsoma hannunsa ba abinda ya kare doka 
kuma za a kasar nan dole ne sai an bi doka amma gashi a jihar Benue gwamnatin da kwanan nan ne ya canza shekaya kuma jami'ar PDP an ga yan majalisa yan kalilan wanda kuma kusan a yi cewa sabawa dokan ne da goyen bayan yan sanda sun bude majalisa suna neman tsiye gwamnatin shin be fada shugaban kasa take da haka domin ai su yan sanda suna karkashin jagorancin wato shugaban su ne wanda kuma daga fada ce ake bashi wani a ba haka take ba wanda duk yake so ya jawo shugaba Muhammad Buhari a cikin wannan magana ya nuna mana hannunsa a cikin wannan magana ashe ba mu bada sanarwa cewa shi shugaba Buhari bai ma san an yi wannan magana ba saboda haka wancin abu ne matsalar su ce ta yan siyasa a jihar Benue kuma in ana so ai adalci ga su yan sanda ai sun yi bayani mutun takwas suka fara zuwa suka shiga majalisa sai 22 suka zaburo suka so suka zo za su ga yan sanda suka ji tsakanin su suka ce a idan kuka gwa mutsa fada za ku yi barna za a yi abun da suka yi bayani kenan to saboda haka yan sanda aikin su su shiga tsakanin masu rigima kada a bari a gabza ba dan haka ba wannan majalisa ta wani cewa yan majalisa dan sun zauna sun ce su takwas za su tsige wannan abu doka ta ba su izini saboda haka a dena sa shugaba buhari a cikin wannan magana babu goyen bayan gwamnatin tarayya kuma mun ba da sanarwa mun ce do Allah da annabi magana su ce a can benuwai da suke sa in sa a tsakanin su su je su magana matsalar su ina tabbatar muka cewa ba za a yi hakan ba kuma idan wani ya ga cewa za a taka masa haiki ai akwai kotu a kasar ko ai ba hana kotu sai aikin su ba shugaba Muhammadu Buhari yana da hurin min ya ce kotu ka tai aikin ta wannan magagi da ake tiji daga PDP ai na ganin yan Najeriya zuwa yanzu sun fahimci cewa kawai su suke su kawo wani rudani dan su dauke hankalin al'umar Najeriya daga kan muhimmin ayyuka da shugaba Buhari yake dan tsaftace kasa da ake dan gyara da ake saboda ba su suke aiwa yannan gyara da ke ba babu wani hakki na dan jarida ai na dan Najeriya da za a ce yana fuskanta wata barazana akan wannan dattijo da yake Allah ya bashi shugabancin Najeriya ba halin sa bane su PDP da suka san yadda suke wannan abu su suke ganin cewa dan sun yi haka lokacin da suna kan mulki a kowa ya yazo shi ma zai dauki halunsa ya irin wayan abubuwa na tabbatar muka ci ga wannan gwamnati ta buhari ta bambanta ba haka abin yake ba to gaba daya da wannan bayani iyakar abin da ya sauka kenan a cikin wannan shiri na daga fadar shugaban kasa da ke zuwa muku a kafar yanci ta Liberty Television amadin wato ofishin mai bayar shugaban kasa shawara kan harkokin watsa labaru malam garbashe da ke daukar nauyin kawo wannan shiri ni da shirya na gabatar amadin jami'an da suka yi hidimar sadan da ku Hassan Umar Faruk sunana nake cewa Sadu Alheri